fell about 1% today. Gold about flat. People, I hear your frustration. I know so many of you continue to write to me every day about gold and silver. Now, uh, you know my take on this. It's not going to change. These are not trades. If you are frustrated with the pace of gains with regard to gold and silver, which are being absolutely, completely and totally 100% rigged, by JP Morgan. We know who's doing it. Everybody knows who's doing it. The Commodities Exchange is well aware of it, but they will not do a thing. Nothing. Okay, this is just the way it's going to go. But I see that, to me, as an opportunity. If you don't, then you really are in the wrong space, too. Look, investing in anything, um, putting money to work in anything, is not for everyone some people need to work a nine to five job collect their paycheck and don't invest in anything um there are people like that me that's not me at all you know that i believe most people who follow this blog at least realize the situation that we are in a hyper bubble with regard to debt a stock market which is also a mega hyper bubble um, you know, the distortions of asset prices, the rigging of it all, commodities in general. But there are some people that just can't handle it. And I believe me, I get it. So if this is getting to you, um, I don't know what to tell you. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't care. I've been buying gold and silver for many, many, many years. Um, and I still believe. 100% that I am in the right spot with regard to physical assets, gold, more specifically silver, platinum and palladium, I like them too. But we're, Damn you just understand what we're doing. And I think most of you I get it. Someone had a score. As I said, I believe earlier today, markets run in cycles. Generally, they run in cycles. Math risk is on, there. Risk off, risk on, risk off. We are in the biggest engineered risk on environment in the history of the world. And this started in 2008, quantitative easing one, quantitative easing two, operations risk, and all the continuing uh, asset purchases and debt suppression uh, by the Fed. This is all engineered, 100%. The, the re-inflating uh, of a housing bubble, the re-inflating of a stock market bubble, on the back of the Frankenstein mother bubble of them all, and that is the debt market. So we, people like us, that are holding hard assets, gold and silver, we, we understand that at one point, and there's no way to stop it, okay, it's going to happen. Risk on, cash going into the market, is going to turn risk off. And when that happens, you're going to see risk off assets like gold and silver, for example, skyrocket. Skyrocket. That's my opinion. You're entitled to have yours. All right. That's the way I've been calling it for the longest time. And I'm not alone. There's a lot of people in the know saying the same things. Okay. Um, let us move forward here. Uh, cryptocurrencies people are surging. Surging. All right. You knew all this from, from the low. I told all of you right here on this blog many, many times by the dips. Buy the dips. How many times did I say buy the dips? Okay, I'm telling you to buy the dips in everything um, until until we see the real sign or the real signal, and that is the debt market. Again, I, I, I keep saying the same thing. It's the 10-year yield. Oh, by the way, I know a lot of you have been trying to follow the 10-year yield on my website, which has been very on and off the last couple of days. I've been on the phone with these people who set up my website myself. I've been working on it. I think I got it figured out. So go check it out. Traderschoice.net. It should work fine at this time. You can follow the 10 year yield, the dollar index, crude oil, the charts, the chat room, all kinds of free downloads. Take advantage of it. Okay. So I covered the markets for you. Nice rally. Debt market not doing anything. Dollar went from being stronger to weaker. Okay, whatever. I covered um, gold and silver. What's going on here? I understand your frustration. Cryptocurrency surging, surging. Crude oil continues to fall under pressure here. People, look, if you follow crude oil, you, oh, you know anything about technical indicators, 
crude oil is now about two standard deviations away from the mean. Okay. When I see that, uh, you know, uh, I, I kind of like it actually because it means you're going to see a reversion to the mean. And I believe that is going to happen. No asset goes straight up without a pullback. Pullbacks are bullish. All right. We topped out short term, topped out around 72, 73, 74. Uh, we've now pulled back. I can't stress this to you enough. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, I could be wrong. I'm just telling you how I feel. All right. We're going to establish a new floor and crude will go higher. And not because it's oversold or really not even because it's two standard deviations away from the mean, but because they're going to prop it up. They have to. In order to get this market to go up, they're going to prop it up. We've seen this over and over again repeatedly. I think, I think you get it. Um, assets, they go up, they drop, and then they go back. Okay, but you establish that new floor. And this isn't just a floor or with anything that, well, technically and you know fundamentally that's how the market is supposed to work does it always work out like that well 99 percent of the time but there's all this rigging going on especially with precious metals we know that and in crude too it has no business being here now i want to talk about this okay so and this is getting kind of long we heard from the fed again today they're setting up a scenario to move where are they talking about the variant the variant talk about that no earlier idea. today now, let's talk about this potential for a market crash, a serious market crash. There's something called the Hindenburg Omen. If you're curious about the Hindenburg Omen, I'm going to place a link in the description of this video. It's a technical indicator. It's not always right. As a matter of fact, it's right about 25% of the time. Okay. But when it is right, it's right in a big way. Um, the last meltdown. Uh, 2008 was preceded by a Hindenburg omen okay now we got a new one we have a new Hindenburg omen right now right now so does that tell me that this market is about to crash or crater we did get several warnings from Citigroup Goldman Sachs JP Morgan okay uh, I'm not gonna pay attention to the Hindenburg omen and I usually don't I'm more of a guy that wants to look at the debt market because the debt market invariably, if you look at history, the debt market is right. It's always right. Okay. So by keeping our eye on that 10 year yield, now if we see, like I've covered a billion times, a spike in that 10 year yield, uh, uh, emergency? Happening no, never mind. The debt market, and we see a spike with the Hindenburg Omen. Well, we gotta run for the hills. We gotta close long positions. We gotta think about getting short this market. Um, but I'll keep you on top of that. I promise. Okay, so just don't worry about it. I want you to be aware that the odds right now of a stock market crash um, did go up. But I'm not calling for a market crash because I know exactly what's gonna happen. I found a way to pull you for market crash. I've probably been the biggest bull for years in this market. I've been called a permable and everything else. Uh, I'm just uh, making you aware that the odds went up. Okay, and we're going to see how this plays out, and I promise you, you're the curve. You follow this blog, you will stay in the curve. I promise you that. All right, people, so here's the deal. It is Friday. Bring it in. We're going to do it together. Love each other. It's a ship on the right too. Be charitable. I will see all of you. Can we get them first? My markets look ahead. Tomorrow you can hear from the little kid. And uh, let's see what he has to say to you. Love you a lot. I'm off to location. Not sure we have to turn there for the zone. Charlotte McLeod with.
Where the hell is their ship now? There's at least one ship in Bagoners. Oh, there's there's part behind the tower. Israel flag, is that them? You know, I'm gonna go That's to the right uh, side here, there's a chest. Yeah, there's one ship part right here. Uh, uh, fire its sails, fire at its sails with the purples. There's a. Oh, something spawned on the left. Prepare to jump. Please confirm. Yeah, I'm going um, to jump. Okay, nice. Front sail, please. Front ship. And the upcoming chest as well. Let's get the chest. We, are, we, there. Uh, one of you can get the chest, right? Please confirm. I'll try to get the sails. Jump now! Jump now! All right, maybe they already looted it. Try just damage their hole. Let's get this. Might be an empty ship. I don't know. Uh, uh, once, once just clamped in. Killed one. One is reporting. Okay. One just TP'd here. We gotta remember there's a ship behind us. Ship behind it is mad. Okay, I took some guy's loot. I'm going back in. Killed one in their ship. I'm gonna cork this ship. We're shooting. Okay, there's no ship behind us as of now that I can see. Cork the ship. Guys on our ship. This ship is down. Alright, we're clear guys, keep looting. I'm taking the boot. Oh, I'm gonna go to We need soon someone need to, needs to check if there's a ship coming. Must be fighting each other. I still need a musket. Oh yeah, yeah I found a musket. Okay. All right. I got the rest. There's uh, only fishes left. Actually, no. I got absolutely everything. Over there. Just gonna adjust my clock. All right. Uh, people fighting in northeast with a bomb whistle. Between the buckers, I'd say, around this area. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go into them. Wind is changing again. No, no, please don't fix the front sail. Just leave it yep. uh, so I can have maximum vision. Yeah, it needs to be adjusted a little. A little more. A uh, ship on my ping. Okay, good. Actually, Just both ships are in the ping as well. I think that's good. Oh, are they both bombers? Uh, at least one. Not sure about the other one. No, junk. Uh, the close, the closer is the vessel. Okay, I see, okay. Alright, which one is Matt? Junk. Alright. Let's uh, trap him. That'll make them attractive, an attractive target. Please repair my sail. I'm losing speed. Heal, heal, heal.
get ready to trap them. Then we can make a beeline for the uh, chest. Hopefully they'll get shot. Alright, uh, maybe maybe we should kill the bomber first. Maybe we shouldn't have gotten involved. Oh yeah, you guys can shoot if we're close. Alright, I trapped the... Uh, oh no, I missed. What the fuck. Capstan. I'm repairing our ship. I'm healing. Alright, we're getting out of here. On our boat. Dead. Repair the ship in front. Oh, I'm going to try to avoid the damaging conflict for now. I'm gonna get this chest too. We have damaged sails. I'm gonna jump here to take this chest. Oh shit, it just died. There's another one. I'm gonna go get it. One guy is jumping to our ship. I'm dead. Kill one in ship, I'm gonna cork them now. Or at least trying to cork them. Cork them. I think they're lifted their anchor. No, it's still down. Good job with the repairs. Yeah, the ship is dead. I'm taking the wood. Okay, coming to take even more wood. Uh, the wood is taken already. Okay. There's a lot left. There might be some player left. chests. There's one behind me that needs to be cleaned too. Oh, one guy jumped into in that ship. Uh, let's so kill him, let's kill him. Was... Yeah, he killed me. Nice, I got the wood, there's more. Oh yeah, there's we need a lot of, There was also a lot of wood in my chest. Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay. I'm full of... Uh, I think we took all the wood, there's some heavies left. Oh yeah, there's some wood left. Okay, I got all the wood, there's some heavies left. Do you know how I got on the ship? I uh, got on the wheel. Alright, we're gonna rush them. Oh shit, I'm bugged. Okay, I'm back. One of them is repair. Fire the right cannons. Uh, so I'd like to support. 